the intergovernmental discussion. We are uh, as such not here as experts in those respective fields, but we would want to recap a little bit how the transport aspect has been discussed in recent years and what are the issues currently under consideration. Well, on transport itself, uh, we very often or generally don't think about it. We take it for granted. It's nothing that we, unless the bus is not coming or the train is delayed, then we know there is an issue, but otherwise uh, uh, it's in, in our daily blood we don't think about it. And um, But as was reflected in the commission session, I mean without transportation or transport services uh, there could not be any eradication or alleviation of, of poverty. And so there is a common agreement that there is an urgent need for affordable, economically viable, socially acceptable, and environmentally sound transport systems. But since the discussion here is on shipping or seaborne transportation, we have a few points just uh, to put it in quantitative perspective. The maritime transport actually moves most of goods uh, the shipping capacities have been rapidly increasing from 85 to, to 2007, but then experienced uh, some decline in recent years as a part of the global recession. There is currently a total merchant fleet of large ships, say ships uh, with, excess, uh, with a capacity of more than 100 gigatons, uh, there is uh, 100,000 of 104,000 of such ships uh, moving um, on the world's oceans. The average age of these ships, an average, is more than 20 years, and it involves many countries because there is more than 150 nations that have uh, ships uh, registered. There is 1.5 million uh, seafarers employed directly on the ships and many more on land in the respective supporting service industries. <coughs> Transportation, of course, is an important issue re in the discussion on climate change. Or, and here we can observe that whilst the emissions of transportation as a whole have grown very rapidly and continue to grow no matter what the discussion uh, uh, um, is recommending, the shipping portion of it is actually relatively climate friendly because there's very limited CO2 emissions per 